Hello everyone. So today we will see Vogel's approximation method. So first task, always in transportation problem, we will test problem is balanced or not. So this problem is balanced again because sum of supply equals to sum of demand. This is 34. And second, we will check the problem is of minimization or not. So this problem is associated with cost. That's why this is of minimization. Okay. So now we will solve this problem by using Vogel's approximation method. And this is also known as penalty method. So we will find penalty and we will create this type of table. So this is column penalty side. This side is for column penalties. And this side is for row penalties. Okay, so in first row in this blue block, we will search minimum cost, two minimum costs, two least costs. So two least costs are 19 and 10. And the difference of this 19 and 10 is what? Difference of 19 10, 10 is 9. And difference of two least number from this second row is 30, 40, two least number. Difference is what? 10. And in this third row, the difference is 8 and 20 so uh, two numbers 8 and 20 difference is what 12 and now in this first column two least number in cost 1940 so the difference is 21 and for this second column two least number 8 and 30 difference is 22 and for this third column uh, 50 and 42 least number difference is 10 and for this fourth column two least number 20 and 10 so this is what difference is what 10 now all these seven penalties we will search maximum so this 20 is as maximum number so now in this column in these three cost we will search minimum minimum number is what 8 so for this minimum number we will put bracket and now again we will compare supply and demand so for this third factory, supply capacity is 8 units and for this warehouse demand is of 8 units. So if you have 8 units, you have 8 units, you 8 units, you have 8 units, you 8 units supply. You will not sell 18. So we will put 18 here. Now this reduces to, sorry, this quantity 18 reduces to 10. And now we will remove this one from our calculation अब हमें इस block को अपनी calculation में consider नहीं करना है we will remove this part and now for remaining numbers again we will find penalties so first column two least number again 1940 so this penalty is 21 again and in this column again same two least number in this third again same two least number so penalty is same no change 10 and 20 10 penalty and now in first row, penalty is what? Two least number 19 and 10, same penalty, no change. In second row, two least number are 40 and 60. So the difference of 40 and 60 is 20, penalty. And two least number 40, 20, difference is 20. So in all these six penalty, now we will search maximum penalty and maximum penalty is what? This 21. So for this 21, we will search minimum cost in this column. So this is 19. So for this is 19, again we will search supply and demand with minimum number. So this is with 7 and this is with 5. So you have 7 units, but if customer has 5 units demand, then you will have 5 units supply. Now this reduces to 2. And demand for this warehouse is over. This customer demands is over. So what do we have to do? We have to remove this from our calculations. We have these six numbers again same task calculation of penalty so from first this third column two least numbers are same so same penalty 10 and again 10 and 20 two least number as per previous step same so this is same penalty now in row two least number two numbers are there so these are least numbers so the difference is 50 minus 10 that is what 40 and two least number 60 and 40 so the difference is what 20 
and two list number 70 and 20 so difference is 50 now in all these five penalties maximum penalty is what this is 50 so this is maximum penalty in this maximum penalty we will search least number so in these two numbers this is least 20 is least number put the bracket on that and corresponding demands and supply this is 10 and this is 40 so aapke paas 10 units and customer ne 14 demand kari hai to aap usko keval 10 hi bech pao and now ab usko aapko 4 unit aur bechni hai dusre source se isko chal pao now this factory capacity is over this factory capacity is over so we will remove this factory from our calculation now we have these four numbers again we will find a penalty for these two numbers so penalty is now 50 40 10 penalty is now 60 10 this is 50 so this is same because of same least number this is again same and now in these four penalties maximum penalty is what maximum penalty is this 50 this is maximum penalty so for this maximum penalty two least number in first least number is what 10 so 10 is least number in these two numbers so we will put bracket on that and corresponding supply is 2 demand is 4 so 2 unit hai aapke paas lekin demand 4 ke to aap 2 hi bech pao now this is over now this first factory capacity is over okay so now only two numbers are there 40 and 60 now no need to find uh, penalties we will search we will take directly least number as 40 so on this least number 40 we will put bracket on that and we will search corresponding demand and supply so this is 9 and this is 7 so we will take minimum number Minimum number means you have 9 units and customer has 7 demand, then you have 7 units. And this reduces to what? 2. And this is 2 when we have 2 units supply. So now we have one number and we have one number for supply and demand both are 2 2. So that's why we will put 2 here. So now your problem is over. Now we will prepare final table for this question. So again we will copy all these values in this original table. So in this original table we will put values. This is what 5 and this location is 2, this location is 2, this location is 10. And uh, for this location, this is 7. And for this location, this is what? 8. So these are the final allocation for this van. Now, for this question, we will find total transportation cost. That is what? TTC. So TTC, number of cost per unit. And this is number of units. So this is 19 into 5 plus 10 into 2 plus 40 into 7 plus 60 into 2 plus 8 into 8 and this is what 20 into 10 so now total transportation cost is 779 So this is Vogel's approximation method. I hope you understand this method. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe and comment on my channel. Have a nice day. Thank you.